Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the changes that they did to some of the Raiders, okay, and the RWR. So uh, for example, as you see on the screen, there are multiple um, additions to the RWR pool that the SU-25 SM3 can actually detect with its RWR. Uh, as you see over here, it changed it to the SPO 15016M. So it's uh, a new variant of the um, of the Pastel RWR, right? Which brings a little bit more uh, on that, especially for helicopters. You know, we will be able to detect helicopters. Not that it matters too much, helicopters, but it is good to have this uh, if you are flying this aircraft because in ground battles you will. Basically, you don't have a radar, right? So uh, the RWR will be your sensor to actually find this, uh, this stuff, unless you use your thermal vision or the sound. So it's another sensor that you can use to find some of the helicopters that you will face in the uh, higher tiers. And then for the radars, I mean, it's not a really big difference, but multiple radars you will see on the screen right now. Um, they have a, a naming difference at first, okay, so I'm gonna show the naming difference first. So, for example, now it's Acquirement Pulse Doppler and then HMD Pulse Doppler. And that's basically what it will dictate um, when you are trying to lock a target with this. Of course, it's not HD anymore, anymore technically, because... Um, or automatic, because it, there's no real reason it's always using the pull stopper in some of these raiders right but of course once you lock the target uh, the tracking will be automatic okay so we will change to the high pif modes or whatever it needs to maintain the lock in these raiders okay guys of course uh, remember in the normal search you are still manual and then once you get the proper lock you will also go to the automatic so tracking pd but it, it is automatically changing if it needs to for HDN and other modes like that, okay guys? And then we have for uh, some of the other aircraft, as you see on the screen, um, a, a little change on the way that it is um, with these acquirements. So for example, for the F-14s, we're going to take the F-14 out over here. Um, now it, it is back the, um, the, autom the, like the manual uh, selection of the acquirement. So, um, if you are going to lock a target with the normal Raider, you're going to have the manual, and once you get a lock, it will be automatic, just like it is. But once you use the uh, acquirement, like you see over here, you can change between the normal acquirement and the HDN. If you are in HDN and you are not able to get a lock, uh, you will need to uh, like automatically change to the other mode to get the lock and then the tracking will be made automatically so it's a little bit different not by much uh, but it does change back a little bit of how it was before right so be aware of that if you are in acquirement post doctor HDN for example depending on the situation you will not be able to get a lock as you see but then the normal acquirement will work and then the tracking is the automatic one okay uh, a little bit confusing, I know, but uh, this is how some of these aircraft will be like right now. And it's important for you to understand that um, to actually properly use these modes in your battles. Because they are really, really important, especially at up close. Okay, guys? Uh, there were some other cha minor changes um, uh, to some other tanks and stuff. Uh, but I I'm not worth to talk about because it's just minor things like gear ratios and... Slight increases in horsepower, stuff like that. Uh, so you can check it out. I will leave the link in the description for all changes that happened today. And of course, the data mine made by Oshida as well. Thank you, Oshida, for always doing that. And yeah, it will be the link in the description. Okay, guys, but this is it for the changes for today. Minor things, but uh, nonetheless, it changes a little bit some of the aircraft, okay? See you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye. See ya.